here in New Orleans. This Absolutely, morning. yeah. So the rain moving through the metro right now. Take a look at your radar. That's pretty much where we are seeing the rain. Everyone else across our coverage area, you are dry. But we do have this rain that we've been keeping a close eye on as it moves through the metro area now. And overall, it's moving around 15 or so miles an hour. So we can get a track on this and see where it goes next. Let's see, right around 15 miles an hour or so. I'll take this out of play mode so you can see. So it's heading into Gretna now, Terrytown within the next five minutes, Chalmette within the next six minutes. But that's it when it comes to rain because for the rest of our area, you can see that we are dry. Again, over the past 15 minutes, this rain has just been moving through the metro area and we don't have any lightning associated with that either. Something we'll keep an eye on, only a 20% chance of rain today. Also raining out in the Atlantic. Check it out. There is now a 10% chance of tropical development within the next two days and within the next seven days. So this is the first that we've seen from the National Hurricane Center. It is a low chance of development. It is not threatening us. In fact, looking at future models, it shows that this will likely stay out in the Atlantic and again, not threaten us. Staying out in the Atlantic, moving up the East Coast, perhaps eventually towards Canada. We'll keep a close eye on it, but again, a low chance of development at only 10%. The National Hurricane Center does not expect it to develop. If it does, it's really not that unusual for a storm, the first storm to form around this time of year, around Memorial Day weekend. Over the past nine years, eight years have had a system or a storm develop early before the first of hurricane season before June 1st. And that actually already includes this year. Remember that in January we had a subtropical storm that the National Hurricane Center discovered a few weeks ago, so they didn't name it for our January storm. And that's why the first storm that or the next storm that's named will still take the name Arlene. But technically we've already had our first storm of the season. So transitioning back home now again that system not a threat to us. It was hot yesterday. We had a high of 93 degrees and that makes it the hottest day so far this year, though it didn't make the record of 94. Today it's more comfortable. It's not as hot outside right now that we are sitting in the 70s with beers already at 80 degrees. A little bit of a breeze out there at the lakefront. Same for Galliano. Notice winds coming out of the north thanks to that front that moved through yesterday. So today highs are going to stay Stay in the 80s. It will stay cloudy as well. So if you're heading out to Bayou Boogaloo, rain chances again, we're tracking some rain right now, but overall they're staying at about 20%. It will be a mostly cloudy day. Highs will range anywhere from 83 to 87 degrees. Now, of course, not as hot as yesterday, but remember it is still warm and then inside cars it is hot with a high of 85 degrees. That means within 10 minutes you're already at 104 degrees inside a car. So please be careful out there, but temperature is more seasonable for this time of year, sitting in the 80s over the next seven days. Rain chances 20 to 30% through the work week. All right, Lee, thank you. And consider